Hai, Assalamualaikum. We meet again in my mathematics class with me, Teacher Farahia. In this video, I'm going to explain on Chapter 5, which subtopic 5.2, Algebraic Expression Involving Basic Arithmetic Operation. There are three learning standards for this subtopic. First one is add and subtract two or more algebraic expressions where we do addition and subtraction. And second learning standard is make gener generalization about repeated multiplication where we do some multiplication. And last one, multiply and divide algebraic expression. We are combining the multiplication and division involving algebraic expression. In this video, I'm going to focus on the first learning standard, add and subtract. Okay. Our first learning standard is add and subtract two or more algebraic expressions. How are we going to add? How are we going to subtract our algebraic expression? Okay, we're going to do some exercise question from your textbook, page 113, self-practice 5.28. In this question, it asks you to simplify each of the following. For our first question, question A, we have four different algebraic terms. 3x, 2y, 5x and 9y. In order to simplify our algebraic terms, we need, sorry, in order to simplify our algebraic expressions, we need to gather or we need to group the like term in the algebraic expressions given. In this question, we have 3x and 5x are like term, the first group of like term, and 2y. And 9y are our second group of like term. Okay, we already identify our like term. And before we continue with our calculation, we need to get rid of the bracket first. Remember our board mass? We need to do, we need to get rid of the bracket first lah. So our first bracket, we don't have any calculation involved. So we just copy down the algebraic terms inside the bracket. That is 3x minus 2y. If you can see here, I don't have the bracket anymore. And uh, plus sign, just copy down. And we check our second bracket. Inside our second bracket is also positive or addition sign. Remember our chapter 1 where we already learned positive sign multiply with posit anything with positive sign will always get positive sign. So same, in, same goes to this question. Everything is positive sign so we just copy down the algebraic terms in the second bracket. Nothing changed in the sign, in the positive sign. Uh, after we get rid of the bracket, we do some arrangement. We arrange or we group the like term 3x and 5x. 3x we just copy down and we look at our 5x. We need to take the sign in front of the 5x together when we are rearranging. Okay, the plus sign. In front of the 5x, we need to uh, take it as well. And we already done with x. Next, we're going to arrange our y variable. Where we have 2y, in front of it is minus sign. So we take it together, minus 2y. And our 9y, in front of it is plus. So we take the plus sign together with 9y. So that's how we do our arrangement. That's how we do our uh, algebraic expression arrangement. Then we just calculate the same variable together. 3x plus 3, 5x. We have 8x 
and negative 2y plus 9y, we have plus 7y. So that's how we do our simplification. We continue on our second question where we have six different algebraic terms. Same as previous question, we need to get rid of the bracket first. Let's look at our first bracket. We don't have anything in front of the first bracket where I circle here. There is nothing in front of the bracket. Then we can just copy down the terms inside the first bracket. So 6AB plus 2BC plus 10. And we have minus sign. Minus. We copy down the minus. And let's look at our operation or our sign inside of our second bracket. Here we have plus and we have minus. Uh, we need to remember our first chapter. If we have different signs multiplied together, we will always get negative sign. And when we have same symbol, same sign, negative meets with negative, we will always get positive sign. Whenever you have different signs, Multiply together, you will always get negative. Whenever you have the same sign, multiply together, either it is negative times with negative, you will get positive. Or positive, multiply with positive, you will also get positive. So you just need to remember the first thing, the one thing. Different sign meeting together, always get negative. So here we have negative and positive AB. AB is positive. So we have minus lah. Minus AB. And second, negative with positive, you will get negative or minus 3BC. And the third one, negative with negative. The same sign, you will get positive 2. Uh, you need to be very careful with the different symbols or different signs when you have bracket. Because bracket means you need to multiply. So we've we already done with the bracket. So we proceed with our second step, which is arranging our like Term. We look at here, we have 6AB and its like term is minus AB. So we write down 6AB minus AB. You need to remember, minus here is the same as minus in front of our AB. So next like term is BC. BC here plus 2BC and minus 3BC. So plus from the from in front of the 2BC plus 2BC minus from the 3BC. And after that we copy down the numbers. Plus 10 and plus 2, plus 10, and plus 2. You need to remember our operation, our plus or minus is just in front of the terms. Remember, in front of the terms. So then, our final step is calculating the like term. 6AB minus <coughs> AB, we have 5AB. Plus 2 minus 3 BC, we have minus BC. Plus 10 plus 2, we have plus 12. So that's how you do your simplification when you have more than one algebraic terms. Question C. <clears throat> we have three different brackets. 
So, same as previous question, we need to get rid of the bracket first. The first bracket, we don't have anything in front of the bracket. We just copy down the first algebraic term, the algebraic terms inside our first bracket. Second bracket, we have minus sign, minus here, multiply with negative 3k. We will get positive 3k and minus here. Multiply with positive 7, we will get negative 7. And next, our third bracket, positive, multiply with positive, we have positive 13. X, Y, positive, multiply with negative, we get negative K. Okay, let's check the same the same sign, negative and negative, or minus multiply with negative, you will get positive, positive 3k, minus multiply with plus 7, you will get negative 7, plus multiply with positive 13xy, you will get positive plus 13xy, plus multiply with minus k, you will get minus k. So next is arrange our like term. 4xy, like term is 13xy, and in front of it, you have plus sign. So you need to copy the plus sign together. Our next like term is k plus 5k plus 3k and minus 3k. So just copy down the terms with its operation, with its sign plus or minus. And last one, our number minus 7. So then we calculate the like term. 4xy plus 13xy, you get 17xy. Positive 5k plus 3k minus k, you will get 7k, which is positive. And numbers, you don't have anything to calculate it with, so just copy the number with the sign. So that is your answer. Okay, our question D, <coughs> you have lots of of algebraic term, the methods always the same, get rid of the bracket first. The first bracket, you don't have anything inside of it, just copy down the terms, 7p minus 8q plus 6pq, and our second bracket, we have plus sign, multiply with plus positive q, you will get positive Q and plus sign multiply with negative 2P, you will get negative 2P or minus 2P, it's just the same. And plus multiply with plus PQ, you will get plus PQ. Okay, that is your second bracket. Let's move on on our third bracket. We have minus multiply with positive. Minus and positive, different sign. So, you will have negative P, negative 10, PQ. Minus, multiply with minus P, same sign, negative meets negative, you will get positive P. And last one, minus, multiply with minus 4Q, you will also get positive 4Q. Oh, sorry. Okay, then we group the like terms together. 7p, we need to find p, 2p minus 2p plus p, so 7p minus 2p plus p, 
and then Q Q minus 8Q plus Q and last one plus 4Q minus 8Q plus Q plus 4Q and last one PQ you have plus 6PQ plus PQ and minus 10PQ so plus 6PQ plus PQ minus 10PQ so let's check if we have all the algebraic terms written down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 yes we have 9 then we calculate this like term together First one, 70 minus 2 plus 1. 7 minus 2 plus 1, we have 6P. Okay. Uh, let's change our color. Let's use color white. Okay, let's calculate for Q. Minus 8 plus 1Q plus 4. You can use calculator and type in the numbers only. You type in minus 8 plus 1, 1 for Q, and plus 4. So you have minus 8 plus 1 is negative 7. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. Negative 3Q and our last group of like term PQ you have plus 6 plus 1 and minus 10 plus 6 plus 1 you will get positive 7 positive 7 minus 10 you will get negative 3 P Q so that is your algebra that simplified. Okay, our last question for this video. We have fraction involved. Same as previous, we need to get rid of the bracket first. Our first algebraic term, 2 over 3 fg, you don't have any bracket. You just copy down the term. 2 over 3 F, G, and we have bracket for 9 mn so you need to identify let's use different color let's use red we have minus times with positive 9 you will get uh, negative 9 m and and minus multiply with minus you will get plus 1 over 2 f g for our third bracket plus multiply with positive you will get plus 3 m n and plus 1 plus multiply with negative you will get negative 1 over 6 f G. So that is your product. So we just copy down here minus 9 mn plus 1 over 2 fg plus 3 mn minus 1 over 6 fg. Next is, we group the like term together, fg with plus half fg and minus 1 6 fg, 2 over 3 fg plus 
1 over 2 fg minus 1 over 6 fg. Next, like term is mn minus 9mn and plus 3mn minus 9mn plus 3mn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have all there. Then calculate our like them together. You can use your calculator. Type in the numbers. Type in the numbers only. So we have your fraction 2 over 3 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 6. You will get 1. 1 that is uh, we don't need to write number 1. Whenever you have 1, you can just get rid of the number 1. So 1 FG meaning we have FG. FG only. Then minus 9 plus 3. Minus 9 plus 3, you will get minus 6MN. So that is how you do your simplification of algebraic expression. That's it for today. See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.